act as the number one best-selling contact and customer manager trusted by individuals, small businesses, and sales teams. In this video, we'll look at how to begin using your ACT Premium Cloud account today. To begin, simply go to the welcome email that you received from ACT. It'll look something like this. The subject line should read, Welcome to ACT Premium Cloud. In this email, you can immediately jump right into a blank database in ACT. Simply click the Login button. Or, if you'd like to migrate your current data into ACT, look for the button that says Migrate Existing Data. When you click that button, you'll be taken to the Data Migration screen. Follow the steps on this screen to upload your database file to an ACT Migration Technician. If you have some questions about this process, or maybe you'd like it explained in greater detail, no problem. Just scroll down on this page and click this link to watch the Data Migration video tutorial. Then, once you've completed the steps on this screen and uploaded your database file, your data will be delivered inside ACT within one business day. We'll send you a separate email with specific instructions to access your account at this point. Once you're ready to log into ACT, you'll need your username and password. If you chose to start from a blank database, your username and password will be given to you in the original welcome email. If you chose to migrate your data, you'll need to use your ACT database username and password that you used when you uploaded your data. To log in, simply type your username and password, and then click the Log On button. To change your password, go to the Tools menu and select Preferences. The Preferences window opens, so click the General link at the top. And from here, click the Set Password button. To change your password, enter your current password in the top box, and then type your new password in the two boxes below. Once you're all set, click OK. Now that we're in ACT Premium Cloud, what's next? Well, before we do anything, let's take a brief survey of the layout of all the things that we'll see in ACT. First, we have the menu items along the top. This gives us detailed access to the features within ACT. We also have the navigation pane along the left, which allows us to search or switch between contacts, groups, companies, calendar, and so on. The global toolbar at the top, also known as the big easy buttons, gives us the most commonly used commands in ACT. These buttons will change based upon the context of the content that you're viewing in ACT. Finally, if we ever get confused with something or we don't know how to proceed, we can always go to the help area, which contains step-by-step -step instructions and explanations for nearly every feature and function of ACT. Now that we've surveyed ACT, let's see what it can do. And possibly the most important and useful information that we can capture in ACT is contact information. So here's how to create a contact in ACT. Suppose I was at a trade show last month and I received some business cards from prospective customers. To enter one of those contacts in ACT, I need to click the Contacts button in the left navigation and then click the New button above. Now I have a blank record. I'll enter the information from the business card here. And it's important to enter as much information as possible because the more data I have, the more equipped I'll be when I reach out to this contact later. Once I've entered all my information for my contact, including where he was referred to me from, I'll click the Save button. Notice these tabs along the bottom here. These are useful to gather other types of information about this contact, such as my history with him, the activities I have scheduled with him, or any opportunities that I have with this contact. All of these fields will make it easier for us to be familiar with our contacts and to do more business with them. Let's say that I want to create a group of the contacts I've made from all the trade shows I've ever attended. I'd like to send a special email out to them later on this month. And creating a group in ACT is easy to do. First, we click the Groups button in the left navigation. Then we click the New button at the top. Now I want to give my group a name and a brief description. And after I've done that, I'll click the Save button. Now my new group has been created. So let's add some members to this group. Down below, notice the Contacts tab. On this tab, we have a button called Add Remove Contacts. So I'll click that. The Add Remove Contacts dialog window now opens, and there are two ways to add contacts to a group. We can do it manually or dynamically. It's simple to manually add a contact to a group. All we have to do is click the Contacts button. From here, we can locate any contact we want in the left window, select them, 
and then click the right arrow to add them to my group. When we're finished adding contacts to the group, we'll click OK. I can see now that that contact has been added to this group. But let's say we want to allow ACT to automatically add members to this group when certain conditions are met. To do that, we'll go to the Dynamic Members area, and this will let us edit the criteria which will automate group membership. To begin, we'll click Edit Criteria. Now I need to create a rule that will tell ACT to always add contacts to this group when that rule's conditions are met. So for type, I'm going to leave it as contact. For field name, I want to use the referred by field. And I want that field to say trade show. I'll click the add to list button. That way, anytime there's a contact record that has trade show in the referred by field, that contact will automatically be added to my trade show contacts group. Once we've added that rule to the list, we can click OK. ACT will ask us if we want to save this current query for future use. I don't want to save this one, so I'm going to click No. And now we can see that this group has been dynamically populated with additional contacts who meet that condition. At the trade show last month, I made a lot of new contacts. Perhaps one of these contacts, Doretha Franklin, is a great opportunity for my business. I can now create an opportunity record in ACT so that it will be easy for me to follow up with her going forward. Here's how. First, I want to click on Doretha's name to open up her contact record. Then from here, there are several ways to create an opportunity. For example, I could use the down arrow next to the New button and select Opportunity. But instead, let's click the Opportunities tab for Doretha Franklin. And then on this tab, I can now click the New Opportunity button. Now I can enter the details of this opportunity and click Save. From this point on, when I view Doretha Franklin's contact record, this opportunity will now appear on the Opportunities tab. Perhaps I had a lot of people sign up for a special offer that I only make available to contacts that I meet at trade shows. And since I already created a group for these people, now I can use ACT eMarketing to send them an email campaign. Here's how to get started with a basic ACT eMarketing account. The basic account is included with ACT Premium Cloud, and it allows you to email up to 500 contacts at no additional cost. To get started, click the eMarketing button in the left nav. From here, we will need to create an ACT eMarketing account, which will be associated with my email address. And after finishing this one-time setup process, I'll be able to create and send email campaigns to contacts and groups in my ACT database. I'll even be able to view some detailed reports of past campaigns so that I can learn which strategies are the most successful for my business. There's a lot more to ACT than what we've shown here today. To find out more, check out the Welcome page, which is found in the left navigation of ACT. The Welcome page will always have the latest resources to guide you through getting up and running in ACT Premium Cloud. Maybe you'd like to invite some of your team members to try ACT Premium Cloud with you. Go to the Tools menu again and click Manage Users. To create a new user, click this link, Create a New User. Choose this option to create a new user who is not currently in your database. Click Next. Then type in the user's information, including their contact name, their username, and security role. It's a good idea to give them a temporary password and then require them to change their password upon their first login. Once you've done that, click Next. And now we need to specify the access for them. In order for them to log into ACT, they need to have an active account. So let's leave that as active and click Next. On this screen, we can choose to add or remove permissions for this specific user. If you don't want to change any of the permissions, click Next. And on this screen, we could create teams for our users. I don't have any teams currently, so let's click Finish. We can see now that that user has been added and their status is pending. They'll remain pending until they log in for the first time. Thank you for attending this Getting Started demonstration. And if you have any additional questions on getting up and running in ACT Premium Cloud, be sure to visit your welcome page for links to video tutorials, knowledge-based resources, and more.